Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get any custom icon as your carrier logo, as I have up here. You see Supreme. Okay, what you, what you first going to want to do is go into Cydia, and we're going to need to SSH into the phone, and that means you need to install Open SSH. SSH, and I already have it installed, just confirm up top. Next, you're going to want to add Zeppelin. This is a free city app. Is This is what allows us to change the icon. comes with a few preloaded ones. Alright, once you have those downloaded, what I like to do is go into Settings, then into General. And I don't want the... I don't want the screen shutting off while I'm doing this, because I want to leave Wi-Fi on, so you're going to want to put Auto Lock on Never. And now, just leave it on, do not lock the screen, and just set your phone down. Now next, you're going to want to hop onto your computer. I'm using a Windows computer. And for Windows, you're going to want to install something called WinSCP. Now, you can, how to download that, I'll have download links. Here's the website. You just need to go into go to download page right here and click download WinSCP. For Mac users, you're going to want to use CyberDuck. Um, these, or just use anything that allows you to get into the root of the iPhone. But for now, I'm going to be showing you how to use WinSCP. So now right here you're going to see a few things. Let's zoom in up here. Okay. Now right here you're going to want to go into your back to your phone, go into Wi-Fi. Now just click the little arrow on the right and your IP address put into host name. So I'm going to be using my IP. Okay, now once that's done, you're going to want to put username root and password, you want to do Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and then press login, now it's going to connect, okay, now you're in, zoom out a little, now here's the root of your phone, again, leave your phone to the side, do not lock it, now, you're going to want to go all the way back into, the, keep clicking up here to go all the way back, now you're going to see some all these lists, you're going to click library. Next, scroll through until you find the Zeppelin, right here. You're going to click Zeppelin. Now here's um, a few of the preloaded ones that were already saved, and here's one I made before. Now I'm going to minimize this, and show you on a new image that I downloaded. Here's just a, I'm going to use a Rite Aid sign, it's just um, a regular image. Now you're going to need... I'm using GIMP, but you can use Photoshop, any image editing software. Let that open up, it's going to take a while. Now what you pretty much have to do is we're just resizing it to the right size. Let me zoom out again. Okay. Um, from right here, first what I want to do is add um, a transparency layer in the background. So if you're using GIMP, what you have to do is go into Layers, then Layers, then down to Transparency and add an alpha channel. Now behind this is an alpha channel, so what I have to do is take out the white in all the picture. So I'm going to use the select tool and I'm going to bring the threshold a little higher. Alright, now I'm just going to click and then press delete. Left click, delete. And that's what I want. I'm going to, I want to leave the, the rest of the white. I just wanted this out and transport, uh, just wanted these transparent. Okay, now that I have that done, next is I want to resize the image. So now I go into Image, Scale Image. Now it'll bring up this, and the height of the image has to be 40. That's how tall and um, how tall and long it should be to fit. So we'll put that to 40 and press Enter, and it'll automatically resize the width. We'll press Scale, and you see how it scales to the right size. Now we need a file, save as. Okay, now we need to rename this to, let me check. Sorry. Um, go back into and see how the other ones are saved. Okay, now we'll see there's silver at 2 pn, uh, 2x PNG, etched, and black. Now this is for if you have a retina one. Um, those that, here I'll show you on the retina for now. So there's silver etched in black. First, we're going to want to do 
black at 2x.png. Zoom in so you can see that. Black at 2x.png. Now we're going to save to the desktop. Save. And it's right there on the side, right here. Now, I'm gonna, I need to save it again as the file. Save as. It was etched at 2x.png. Save. Save. Okay, now that's here. And now, lastly, it's silver at 2x. So, silver, silver at 2 x.png let me just save these and then zoom in so you can see the names okay that's the three of them okay let me zoom back out all right now for um, these are if you have a, a retina device so that's the iPhone 4 and 4s if you have these you're gonna go back into WinSCP bring that back up and go back into the Zeppelin folder where you have all the names of the things right click and create a new folder directory and name it whatever I'm going to call it Rite Aid because that's the picture um, press OK now you're going to go back into it and over here is where you drag the three you drag the three pictures in copy and then now they're in you see they're over there now I'm going to show you the other devices, how they save them as. Now see there's a Pac-Man one. Now these are just the same, but without the 2x. So I have black 2x, etch 2x, and silver 2x. So everything is identical, so just black over there, just black.png. You save them when you're using GIMP. That's that's for the other users not using Retina Display. So the iPhone 3GS, those, those kind of phones. Okay, now that we have, I'm just going to show you the retina one, so now that we have the Rite Aid thing over here, we're going to want to go back to our phone and we'll see that we need to respring it, so just respring any way you want, restart springboard, this is uh, you can restart any way, there's every app does it, some SP settings can do it, you can do it through winterboard okay now, let's just look at my lock screen, let it work, okay now back into settings. Back. We gotta go into Zeppelin. Now we're here, we choose the theme. And we'll see right there. We see right aid. Click that. Go back. And we should apply and respring. And from there, we'll wait and see it should work. Okay, now you see up top is the Rite Aid logo. So you successfully changed any image you want to your carrier logo. I previously had Sprint. Okay. Now make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe this video. I'll be posting new ones up as soon as I see something come out or anything I need to do, usually once or twice. Um, or maybe three times a week. Um, thanks for watching.